Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to cook red grams within only one whistle on G coil heater. And at the same time I am going to show you how to cook yummy red grams curry with fenugreek leaves. It's a very easy recipe and very delicious with especially boiled rice. So guys let's see the recipe. At first we have to wash the fenugreek leaves very well and after that we have to chop them finely. So I chopped them as fine as possible by me and here you can see that I have taken two medium sized onions finely chopped and two medium sized tomato finely chopped, some green chilies according to taste, they are cut lengthwise and 8 to 10 garlic cloves finely chopped and some curry leaves. And on the other hand I have taken one cup of red grams and washed them very nicely, drained the water. Now we have to pressure cook the lentils, so we need a pressure cooker. I am taking a pressure cooker, small size pressure cooker and now I am adding all the red grams into the pressure cooker. And now we need to add water, we need water about uh, 3 times of the red grams quantity. So I am adding that quantity of water and after that I am going to add some salt and some uh, turmeric powder and I am mixing a little like this. Now we need to cover the pressure cooker and put it for cooking. So I covered it and here you can see that I have turned on the heater and it is on medium heat. You can see it is on medium heat only that is the second point of the regulator. Now we have to wait for the first whistle on this medium heat. Do not put your G coil heater on high heat now. So I am waiting for the first whistle and after that, after the first whistle has come, we have to turn off the power switch. That means the main switch of the heater. We do not need to rotate the regulator of the heater. Okay. And the first whistle has come, I have turned the switch off and now we have to leave the pressure cooker on the heater like this. Do not remove the cooker from the heater and as well we have to let the pressure cooker release its pressure itself. So we have to wait for some time until the pressure is released nicely and now the pressure is very nicely released, I am showing you, you can see. So I am removing the lid and checking the lentils if they are cooked or not. So guys you can see that the lentils are very nicely cooked, they are 100% cooked very nicely. So now we have to keep the pressure cooker aside and put a vessel for main process of the cooking. So I am putting a top and now I am turning the heat on medium. I am adding some cooking oil, when the oil is heated well we have to add some cumin seeds, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, 3 to 4 red chilies, dry red chilies of course, a pinch of asafoetida. We have to let everything crackle well, when the color is nicely brown we need to add the onion and garlic. So now I am adding the onion and garlic. And along with onion and garlic we need to add the curry leaves also. So I am adding them. And now we have to fry everything until a light brown color. The heat is on medium now. So the color is nicely brown. So now we have to add the tomatoes and the green chilies. After adding tomatoes we need to add some spices. So at first I am adding salt according to taste. We added salt in the pressure cooker also. So remind that while adding salt and I am not adding turmeric now but you may add it if you want. And after covering for some time on medium heat the tomatoes are nicely soft. I am mashing them a little. So now they are ready, the spices are ready. So now we have to add the lentils here, the pressure cooked lentils of course. And after that add water according to your need, as thick or thin you want it. So I have added water. Now I am going to cover for some time until it starts to boil. And now the curry is boiling nicely as you can see. So now it is time to add the fenugreek leaves into the curry. So I am adding them. After adding fenugreek leaves, we have to cook the curry for about 5 to 7 minutes and the cooking time should not be more than 7 minutes because overcooking of fenugreek leaves may make the taste bitter. 
So, after mixing nicely, I am going to cover the pan for about 5 to 6 minutes. And after about 6 minutes, this is our curry. It is almost done. The fenugreek leaves are cooked very well. Before turning the heat off, we must check the salt and add more salt if needed. So, I am checking the salt and adding some salt again. At the end of this recipe, we need to garnish the curry with some fresh coriander leaves and cook the curry for about 30 seconds again and after that our curry is ready. So, I am going to turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. So guys, you have seen that the recipe is very easy and I have shown you how to save electricity if you have a G coil heater. This curry is really very yummy with boiled rice especially but you may enjoy it with roti, chapati and paratha as well. So guys, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Thank you.